Welcome back guys, so uh, in the last part we took on Lights Out and Boulder Dash. Uh, one little thing I just want to bring up really quickly is uh, Sunset Vista, you get the key on that level, but the key does not show up on Sunset Vista, it shows up on Boulder Dash. Which is kind of a little thing there, but obviously because um, Whole Hog is connected to Boulder Dash, so yeah. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Now you might remember the Hog level uh, in the first island. And basically, this is sort of the hog round two. <laughs> um, this one is uh, a lot harder um, than the first one. Uh, so just be careful, you know. Um, make sure that, uh, you know, you don't sort of um, die, obviously. <laughs> oh, I think that would be too obvious. Um, so yeah, obviously the same sort of enemies and whatnot. Um, got to really time your jumps and kind of think about it a lot um, as you're doing it but um, nonetheless uh, this is a good level um, plus you also got these things that you jump on uh, I don't think they were in the first level um, you know what I mean so you know what I mean it, it could take you a while and I don't blame anyone for, for dying on this level uh, at all because it could take you a while to sort of get it right but uh, for fortunately for me it was uh, it was all right there that wasn't bad at all. I think that level is a little bit shorter than I, I remember. I don't play that level a lot. However, that is 24 gems. Better. 97%. But anyway, moving right along. We are going to head off to Cortex Power. Now, I originally was going to do Fumbling in the Dark along with the other hidden level, uh, Whole Hog, but instead I'm going to take care of this one. Uh, this is probably one of the, the more harder levels as well to get all the boxes on. Um, basically, this level requires you to go sort of back and forth between different paths to get all the boxes. Um, you know what I mean? So th this could be a tricky one. Now, there is no boxes down here, so don't bother going to the left. Just keep going right here, um, as I remember. Basically, you just want to, you know, take your time with it, you know. So this definitely is one of the harder levels, you know what I mean? So I've, I've kind of left, I would say, probably maybe the two hardest. I guess this level isn't particularly hard, it's just hard when you try to get all the boxes, I guess. Uh, right here, you want to go right first, because this is a dead end, but there are boxes down here. So just dodge this guy. And spin him. And there we go. So make sure you get all those and whatnot. And as always, you know, avoid the uh, red pipes and whatnot. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky because right here you've got the um, you've got the checkpoint, um, but you've also got like this down here. So there's, there's quite a there's quite a few things to look out for here. Um, now I I don't remember if there's a box. I think there's a box down there, but oh god. And I'm going to be right back. Anyway, you basically um, want to follow the pattern uh, that I'm sort of doing here. You just go down the route that I'm taking, basically. Um, you know what I mean? If you're having trouble or whatever. Now, I think there is a box down here. I think. Or... No, it's just a one-up. There is an extra one-up there, if you get it. There is, I believe there is a route where you have to come back down uh, to get to an extra box, though. Um, so just be careful, you know. We and we got free masks. Sort of be careful when you've got the masks, as they give you a little bit more momentum when you're uh, running and whatnot. Uh, right here, I would recommend that you do not jump over this when you've got masks, because you could just fall right through uh, quite easily. So I would wait until it wears off first. Basically, all you want to do is hit the first one. And that will basically set off a chain reaction and break them all. So, do that. And uh, right here you want to jump to the right. And then come through here. So obviously, again, you need that blue gem 
uh, from Toxic Waste to get this. Now I believe this is the part where you must come back to get an extra box down here. I believe. <laughs> I hope it is. Yeah, there's definitely a box here. Oops. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember to get that box, because if you do not come back and get that box, that's the thing that's going to screw you over. You'll get all the way to the end, think, yes, I've done it, finally. And then you realise you've got to get that other box. And you just want to kill yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having trouble. <laughs> um, obviously right here, be careful. You know what I mean? Remember what we learned, you know, in... um in the first episode, oh, although I did have the mask in the first episode, you know, that sort of bridge of boxes that you get in that one. Uh, you can practice there if you want to, in the first le uh, level. But, anyway, that is another level down. Now, uh, also what I want to mention is once you've got all the gems, basically the last couple of levels unlock themselves. Basically, once you beat the game and beat Cortex, only up to the lab is available. As odd as that sounds, you can't go back to the Grit Hall. If you want to go back to the Grit Hall, you'd have to beat the lab again and to end the game. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for all the levels except Fumbling in the Dark. Now, Fumbling in the Dark is regarded as the hardest level in this game, uh, aside from Stormy Ascent, which is not available without cheating. Um, so, yeah. In the last part of this playthrough, we're going to be taking on Fumbling in the Dark, getting the last gem, and hopefully getting the true ending. See you guys then.